stop the sunshine. Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com and I'm here with this week's Pick a Card Tarot reading. It's for the week commencing 6th of September 2021 already. Uh, and it's really very easy. Just pick a number now between 1 and 5 and I'll do a psychic tarot interpretation for you. Okay, have you got your number? Okay, good. Alrighty, let's go to the board. If you are new, subscribe and be alive and hit that notification bell right now. Okay, so here's the board. Okay, so we're doing card number 1. Uh, have you picked your numbers? Card number 1. Okay, I like to have a little... Um, vision before I turn the cards over but I'm going to go for that card on top close my eyes now what do I see I've got lots of stars in front of me okay the night sky and the stars you'll be guided by the stars and the moon your journey sometimes it feels like you're not sure of where you're going okay because it is a bit dark but um the stars and the moon, uh, especially the stars, are like hopeful signs, signs of importance. Uh, the star of Bethlehem and Jesus Christ, for example. Uh, it's a sign of better things to come, freedom and liberation. There are people here in my mind's eye that I can see that are smiling and opening doors. Uh, and uh, also something about mail. You may get a surprise in the mail. Uh, it's a pleasant surprise, but do, of course, be careful of the scam emails that come. Uh, you don't, you know, just, <laughs> they're promising you a million dollars or whatever, <laughs> you know, it's a scam. Okay, the card that comes up is the King of Cups. Okay, this is a fabulous card. This indicates somebody around you, possibly uh, a more experienced, more mature person, can be a male or a female, um, but there's a masculine energy here and it's somebody who has experienced life and come to a great deal of wisdom through those experiences there's also um, a sense of being in control of emotions or mastery uh, of emotions it's not that the person uh, doesn't feel their emotions they do uh, but uh, they've weathered all sorts of storms in the past so they know they can just keep on going now I'm seeing steps the steps are easy these are action steps that need to be taken okay regarding an important decision uh, the blue the indigo here suggests a lot of um, intuition even though this is about your emotions king of cups mastery of emotions but indigo is definitely about the third eye and gold here around the throat, a high vibration, the things that this person says. If you don't know anyone like that, uh, do a meditation and go back and find somebody uh, in your ancestry that can help you. There will be ancestors like this uh, and they can help you proceed. It's a really favourable, beneficial card. Card number two. Card number two let's see uh what comes out i see tents again more stairs so more action steps the tents are like um the, sh the shape that triangular shape is like the symbol for chakras so it could be that chakras are opening up and releasing when you re as you're releasing stuff i mean we are all the time most of us are all the time uh, however sometimes we get a big opening up and a big chunk of energy coming up that we have to, de to deal with uh, so you know take it easy on yourself don't push yourself uh, the card that comes up is a six of cups it's about abundance and emotions and a general sense of contentment and happiness here a lot of growth and Obviously, one of the reasons I was just talking about ancestors is because there's a forest back here and a tree. So this can be you, this tree here, and all these trees back here can be like your family tree, okay? Your ancestors will help you out. But feelings of contentment and happiness, I'll just close my eyes. Uh, something about new shoes. Uh, it's almost like the shoes that you used to wear have worn out and now it's time to put yourself into a new identity perhaps you'll even buy new shoes but walking in another's shoes or you know a new direction in life or something like that is indicated 
but yeah new shoes leather shoes uh, be careful of the really high heels okay because it's a long journey they're telling me so you want to be comfortable all right card number three card number three let's see what comes out for this week uh, this is a card I picked by the way uh, okay I'll go with that one closing my eyes now what do I see the wheels are turning the wheels are in motion maybe you've got an important project or something you're thinking about I always have ideas about things to do uh, and for me being a Libran sometimes it's hard to decide <laughs> which ones okay but the wheels are in motion so there is movement here um, uh, evolution okay I'm thinking about you know when humans invented the wheel uh, and uh, it suggests to me that there's a big change coming in your life it's going to be actually the word is monumental uh, the wheel uh, what the wheel means to society and what the the wheel means to you this could also be the zodiac wheel and your horoscopes uh, which i will be starting october horoscopes soon do of course check your september horoscopes Okay, the Queen of Pentacles, this is an astute businesswoman who often works from home. And uh, she's seated here on a gold throne. She's very good with money. But not only that, uh, she's good at making things, you know, resourceful around the home. And she takes action. She's not just talking about, you know, she's not one of those that just talk about it. She actually does stuff. Uh, she is greatly admired for her business acumen, but also her general talents and, and abilities probably you know like um what's that saying about um master uh, jack of all trades jack of all trades and master of none while while i wouldn't say she's not a master um she's certainly very good at what she does okay uh i wouldn't say she's not a master in her own way um you know she is a master or a mistress of the home the queen of the home almost queen of pentacles it's also to do with physical things and possessions and also even perhaps the physical body okay so if you pick card number three this week uh, you're going to have some great insights that you can action to actually bring change uh, in your home with your possessions or your money uh, or perhaps your physical body all right card number four uh, but mostly money is favorably um, indicated here all right card number four card number four let's see what we come up with stick around to the end i'll do a psychic channeling whatever comes out of my mouth we shall see all right going with that one there close my eyes what do i see card number four for this week okay a horseshoe I've got a pole, it's like a curtain rod. Uh, you know how they have finials on the end, you know those decorative um, mouldings and things on the ends of curtain rods? This one's a horseshoe, so some good luck coming to you this week, especially if you're doing things around the home uh, for card number four. Lucky life. Lucky life, lucky wife, lucky... I'm seeing the words lucky life. The card that comes up is the Knight of Wands. This is somebody who's very observant, perhaps even Capricornian in their cautiousness. Uh, he's seated on a turtle or a tortoise. I'm not sure of the difference, I forget. Um, but um, this means making progress slowly. There is growth here and there's action that he's going to take. Uh, this is somebody who is um, out exploring the world. Uh, perhaps, you know, there's some travel indicated depending where you are. See the pyramids in the background here. Uh, more often than that, it's to do with the um, chakras uh, opening up. And because uh, travel could be different, uh, difficult in some place. It's often a young person, it could be like your son or perhaps a daughter who has a masculine sort of um, energy in some way, perhaps highly intelligent. Uh, and um, there could be a change, they could be moving out of home uh, or, you know, possible change in uh, residence uh, and um, exploring, exploration. 
Wan's spiritual, fiery sort of nature, uh, passionate about things, but, but being cautious before they speak, perhaps. Knight of Wands. Okay, so now the next card is number five. Number five is alive. Let's see what comes up. Oh, there's one back there I like. That one will do. No, that one. All right. Moving these all over the show. All right. Close my eyes now. What do I see? Um, okay. Doors opening up. Okay, I'll walk in. Okay, so these doors are, are old-fashioned sort of doors from maybe the 18th or... 19th early 19th century perhaps it's a grand estate like a country estate um, and I feel like this is a family home so your childhood could be indicated something from your childhood coming back uh, if you pick card number five or some family oriented business there could be some um, something coming up from the past which has been carried on your dna on your family line so a family pattern that has been playing in the background just be aware uh, that you are not your family and you are an individual you know basically uh, and um, kindness is uh, called for and perhaps it's a time for self-nurturing if these family patterns are coming up uh, you can nurture yourself. Okay, the card that comes up, oh, it's very interesting because it's the Ten of Cups. And this is often about nurturing. It's about motherhood. It's about childhood. It's about families, more or less what I just said. Uh, you'll see the fire going in the background here. Warmth, comfort, light. Uh, the rocking horse, children, the mother figure, preparing food, looking after her family, being kind and considerate, protective. Uh, and she's got a green skirt on here. So some gr growth going. This is the end of a family cycle or a family pattern that might have been with you for hundreds of years. You can break a family pattern yourself uh, so that you don't pass it on to your children. Uh, and if you've already had children... On a spiritual level, if you break a family pattern, even though you've had children, it will still break for them. Okay, those children you have now, on a spiritual level, that family pattern will break. Okay, if that's what you want to do. Ten of Cups is the end. Uh, it's a one and a zero. That indicates a new beginning coming after a period of waiting. A one and a zero. Uh, there's a limbo sort of period before the new energy begins. Okay, so that's the week this week. Uh, no major arcana there. Uh, so, yeah, just um, a week where we all soldier on. But, yeah, accomplishments and growth and some evolution there. Okay, so now I'm just going to close my eyes and see if there's uh, anything else I can tell you uh, for the week commencing 6th of September 2021. The sky is the limit. I see the sky. Again, this is a sort of a theme today that I've seen several times. It's a dark sky uh, with uh, stars. This one I'm looking at doesn't have the moon, but it does have stars. It's like I'm out on a plain somewhere, a grassy plain, and just looking up into the sky, knowing that the morning is coming, a new cycle, a new day. In my back pocket, there's a fire poker. <laughs> you know, something, tools for the fire, okay? So fire, warmth, light, protection, and uh, more or less uh, like uh, the fire here, uh, but on the ground, a fire, and um, uh, that's indicating that, uh, you know, I can control fire, and so I can protect myself. And uh, fire is useful, it keeps me warm. I can also cook on fire, if in fact you can cook. I don't cook, I'm a really bad cook. But yeah, you can throw something on. <laughs> okay, uh, anything else? What's this claw? And there's a big eagle here with his claws around a, a rod. Uh, and so a symbol of um, freedom, liberation coming. Uh, and the eagle was just right here on my right side 
that can indicate uh, the US uh, or freedom and liberation. Okay, so a pretty positive week coming really. Uh, it's not quite the time yet. It's like just before the dawn, maybe 4.30, sometime like that. Uh, and I know that the sun is coming up for a bright new day and a new start this week. Okay, so you might have some brilliant ideas that you could act on this week uh, and, uh, you know, uh, maybe even new relationships with people and things like that too. Okay, hope this has been useful for you. I uh, would appreciate a like uh, or share on your socials. That would be fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, I'll be back again soon. I'll be starting the October horoscopes soon. If you're new, subscribe and be alive and hit that notification bell. Okay, thanks again, everyone. Thanks and bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website, absolutesoulsecrets.com, for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.